Uh, it's Mahindra Don here, but today I'm not representing Mahindra. Today I'm representing Bushwhacker for y'all. Um, we picked up this line of equipment and really love it. Uh, the customers, just to see the satisfaction that they have out of this kind of equipment, it really makes us happy. Uh, so Bushwhacker, let me tell you a little bit about them as a company. Uh, the company was originally started in the 20s. And in the 1920s, uh, we weren't using too many big John Deere tractors like the 6 to 190 behind me. We were using draft animals. So they were making plows and such to pull behind draft animals and parts for plows and parts for different things like that. They saw the times, the times they were changing. The draft animals weren't being uh, so popularly used anymore, just maybe in small areas, small place farms. But big farms started popping up, and big farms mean big equipment. So the big equipment was provided by them. They got with the times and changed, and now they've been making nothing but rotary cutters since 1969. That's really, they make some cutters and maybe a box plate or two, but that's really, they, they took one thing, focused on it, do it once, do it well. So right behind me here is one of my favorite bushwhackers, and uh, this is a 17-foot reach mower, and it's designed very well from the top to the bottom. Over here you got the coolant tank. This, this is your hydraulic tank uh, because this is a self-contained unit, okay? So you're just drawing power off the PTO. PTO is pump, turn it over the pump. It doesn't have to borrow from the tractor's hydraulic pump. It's using the PTO to spin over its own massive pump. So this 50-gallon reservoir right here keeps the fluid nice and cool, so it operates good all day long when you're out there mowing that right away or mowing the edge of your field. Uh, here's a electric fan. The electric fan again aids in cooling. And then we got over here. Notice all these uh, hydraulic lines here. They're not just an exposed hydraulic line. They've got the braided protection on the outside of them. They didn't have to do that. They did it for you as a customer. They made it better so that it'll last longer. And so you're not losing time and money because we know that time is money to you. So we want to have as so if this machine is going to fail for you, you're going to have aggravation coming up here and mad at me. You're going to say, man, they're done. Look what you did. So I ain't having that. So we're not selling inferior equipment. We're selling some of the best equipment you can buy. And Bushwhacker is some of the best equipment you can buy. You'll take a look at all this extra bracing and stuff all the way around. E even on this, on this deck here, it's, it's seven gauge steel. It's not tack welded together the actual body of the deck is fully seam welded all the way around yeah there's going to be some extra bracing in here that only needs a couple welds down it but still it could have just been a spot here and a spot there but they're doing a good job of doing that if you'll look here on the gearbox the gearbox is not just mounted to that seven gauge deck oh no they put a half or three quarter inch thick plate down here fully welded to it and then the gearbox is on this pedestal here again look how thick that is a three quarter inch at least i'd say and then this is one inch right here and then that's where your gearbox is mounted to all these extra braces and stuff keep from having flexing and this thing getting beaten and battered and, and it looks like a beer can somebody crumpled up and threw in the trash that's not going to happen with this um, oh, another nice thing, uh, when you're out here in the field, every now and then you kind of might maybe get a text from, from somebody you wanted to see, and boom, you hit something a little bit. Well, this has a pressure relief valve so that if you do hit something over here, you run into a chunk of block or something, it'll kind of break away and it won't damage anything or damage your hydraulics or bend this up like I was talking about. Like a beer can in the you are not going to do that with this. Um, underneath, I'll show you in just a second. Let's take a look at that. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm under the underside now, pointing out some of the other finer features of this Bushwhacker boot ball. Uh, right here, this is a one inch thick blade bar with a couple extra braces on the side. That big, heavy, thick blade bar, it's these suckers cranking about 15,500. That's pretty good for blade tip speed. Speaking of the blade tips, these are three quarter inch blades right here, solid sharp on both edges here and right there too so you have a blade that's sharp on three edges and my favorite thing about it is that it's made in the usa this is a good company and whenever they can they support our u.s workers um, 
today. Again, thinking about you and maybe this thing lasting you a really long time and you really put in some heavy duty commercial use. They did have the uh, skid shoes are replaceable. So you've got a half inch thick replaceable skid shoes on here. Uh, that's another nice feature. Bushwhacker thinking about you and your pocketbook just as much as they are thinking about building uh, this quality material. So here's a look at that and now I'm going to have somebody assist me and show you the full range of motion of how this thing cuts. Alright, here we are back inside the machine and now I've got my little thorough rundown of how everything works here. Uh, this was just set up for your demonstration today folks. Of course when it's in your tractor it'll be nice and mounted up how you like it. Um, but here's the controls and here's what you do safety feature wise first thing you're going to do is flip your switch or your PTO to turn the PTO on that gets it spinning that gets that hydraulic fluid moving back there then you need to take control of that hydraulic fluid and the way you do that is turn the key right there if you notice when I turn that key this popped up so in case an uh, emergency arises you start pulling something through there and it's causing damage you go like that real quick and shut her off and that shuts her down but uh, we're going to go back to showing you the range of motion. So you have a left swing, right swing, you have up, down, and up. And then you have your curl, uh, pick it up, push it down, curl back, curl down. And on the bottom, the big trigger, that's what sets them a spinner. So just wanted to show you the rundown of that. And uh, with this John Deere tractor, it was really easy because they had an outlet back here we could plug right into and the setup was very nice. Now, folks, we know you're not gonna be running these things with a 190 horsepower tractor, and it does not require a 190 horsepower tractor. It's just what I had on the lot today that was really easy for me to just pull back here and show you a demonstration. Uh, so, uh, this machine is not compatible with a quick hitch, in case you had that question. So this John Deere, I've got 10 of them out here and nine of them had quick hitches. So the 6190 is what got chosen today to hook this up to. It was really easy probably took about, I don't know, 15 minutes to hook it up for the very first time not knowing what we were doing. So, just going to demonstrate that and now I'm going to go outside and show you what it looks like from the ground of how far it will move and how it will curl and what all it will do. Thanks folks. Alright, I got my man Bushwhacker Bill up there in the cab and he's going to show us exactly what this thing can do and where it can go. And it does mow uh, 17 foot 3 inches straight up and down. So if you're under a canopy that you need to trim, uh, it will go out. It will go at a 90 degree angle. So if you're just going to go around the edge of your field and cut everything along the edge. And it's doing all this in about a 30 degree cold day too. Look at that. Wow. You're wondering the tractor is just sitting there at idle. Uh, just slightly uh, in front of that tractor tire there so you can it'll come up beside you just a little bit more than a right angle
there she be, folks. Awesome cutting machine. The Bush Whacker 17 foot boom mower. Thanks for watching, folks. Give us a call today at 910-233-4576. You wonder why I said today like that? It's because whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or even Sunday, you can reach me at 910-233-4576. If I don't answer, leave a message. I might just be outside making a video for you. Thanks. Have a good one.